so what have we here? The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, elevated to this prestigious new role. What could it be? I hope for his sake it's nothing too prestigious. We wouldn't want that infernal calf getting above his station now, would we? <coughs> the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, has much to smile about, as he was recently promoted to a new role. According to a report, Harry has been appointed as a member of the Board of Directors. Ooh. For African Parks Network, South Africa. Nice. This is a non-profit organisation, a non-profit organisation Harry joined in 2016 and has worked tirelessly for, hence his prestigious new position as a board member. Yes, it's a rigid meritocracy down at the uh, African Parks Network. Harry had to earn his place as a member of the board of directors. Didn't you read what it said? He's been working tirelessly! How many of us feel battered? I really admire people who work tirelessly. They never feel tired. I'm not like that. You know, often I'll finish a YouTube video and I'll think, oh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit weary. Not old Prince Harry, though. He just downs a couple of Adderall and gets on with it, goddammit. He's basically been sleepwalking for the past seven years. But, I mean, anyway, the point is, from the first day he rolled up there at the company Bry at the African Parks Network, they just, they just liked the cut of his jib. They took a shine to him, the other directors. He's not the most energetic, but he is tireless. Ay, 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 ay. Years of hard work and dedication to service. <laughs> I'm not, this, it actually says that. Years of hard work and dedication to service have paid off for the beloved Duke of Sussex. Quite right. It's just a shame that the African Parks Network is a non-profit organisation. You know, it'd be nice to see our beloved Duke of Sussex's tireless work remunerated for once. It was recently announced in a bio update that Prince Harry has been elevated. They've put elevated in inverted commas so that you know it's figurative, just in case any of you are getting any images of Harry being hoisted aloft in some sort of litter or palanquin carried around the African parks by greased up natives wearing nothing but loincloths. He has been elevated to the position of board member of the African Parks Network in South Africa per People magazine. After joining the non-profit conservation group in 2016, Harry became the president the following year. Now that is impressive. An unprecedentedly rapid rise through the ranks of the rigid meritocracy that is the African Parks Network. He must have worked his little socks off. He became the president the following year and has since overseen several conservation projects across Africa. He must have the eyesight of a hawk! Yes, this project is to my liking. Your binoculars are the wrong way round, Harry. Ah, right you are. Where would I be without my favourite manservant? You shall have first pick of the pad costs on the ride home. Harry, I'm a board member like you. I don't need any pad cost privileges. Fine, have it your way, Sambo. My name's Gerald. His biography reads, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is a humanitarian, military veteran, mental wellness advocate, and environmentalist. Author, dreamweaver, visionary. The Duke has dedicated his life's work to advancing causes that he is passionate about, and that bring about permanent change for people and places. Oh, and there he is, look, on his first day of conserving elephants. And what's he brought with him there? A steel box full of sedation darts, possibly for the elephant. And what's this? A pair of industrial pliers? Ha! What a noob. He thought they were there to nab the ivory, didn't he? Today is World Elephant Day. Well, duh, as if you had to say. Today is World Elephant Day, and we are pleased to announce that since we followed our friends at Elephants Without Borders, now that sounds like a mental charity. That's one charity I won't be getting behind. Elephants without borders. We've got enough problems with the borders as they are. We don't need any elephants coming over here, grazing off our pastures. Since we followed our friends at Elephants Without Borders on Instagram in July, when we were celebrating the environment, you and our friend, the Ellen Fund, the Ellen Show, mm. Something nefarious is afoot. You and our friends at the Ellen Show have spread the word and Elephants Without Borders have been able to help protect 25 million... 
Oh no, 25 elephants. Doesn't sound that money, does it? They've helped protect 25 elephants by fitting them with satellite navigation collars. 25, I reckon I could do two. An afternoon's work. These collars will allow the team at Elephants Without Borders to track the elephants as well as to learn their essential migratory patterns to keep their corridors safe and open so future generations of elephants can roam freely. I don't mean to alarm you, but the barbarians are at the gates, people! These elephants will be in Calais by Monday. In honour of this amazing support, Elephants Without Borders have named their most recently collared elephant Ellen. And it's a really nasty elephant bullies all the others. Or maybe it's just a massive les- We can't wait to see where she will go. Yeah, me either! Anyway, back to Prince Harry. Do you want to see Harry trying his hand at uh, voicing over a uh, nature documentary? It's pretty good. Let's take a look. African Parks was founded in 2000 to effectively manage Africa's protected areas. With 19 parks under management in 11 countries, our footprint has scaled to almost 15 million hectares. These vital landscapes are helping to safeguard Africa's biodiversity, serving as a foundation for a healthy planet and delivering benefits to hundreds of thousands of people. By preventing poaching and the wildlife trade, we are protecting species at their source and and it goes on like this. Harry has a long history of conservation works in Africa, a lot of which he has done through his partnership with African Parks. In a 2021 video clip marking Earth Day, uh, the Duke took the opportunity to pay tribute to his grandfather, Prince Philip, who had just died and was a known champion of uh, conservation champion in inverted commas, just so that, you know, he didn't actually win any, you know, he didn't beat the others, the other conservationists, like, there was no cup, let's say. Harry said at the time, as we now begin to move to, sorry, gotta do my Harry voice, as we now begin to, to move towards an era of global recovery and regeneration, it's critical that we continue to look at strengthening and protecting of biodiversity. <gasps> Oh my god, how does he get through his day? No wonder he's like ever more battered and dazed and confused. There's no oxygen getting to his brain as he speaks. I'll, I'll try again. As we now move, as we now begin to move towards an era of global recovery, global recovery and regeneration, it's critical that we continue to look at strengthening and protecting of biodiversity. <laughs> biodiversity. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Not just as a value we hold, but, but also, but also as a way of life. Well, Harry, I'm afraid you are preaching to the choir on this occasion because I have been uh, looking to strengthen and protect biodiversity, not just as a value I hold, no, God, no, God forbid, but as a way of life for I don't know how many years now. I, you know, I say this all the time to everyone I meet, I'm like, you may hold the strengthening and protecting of biodiversity as a value, but <laughs> bitch, please, for me, it isn't just a value I hold, it's, it's a way of life. And, uh, you know, everyone's just stunned into silence when I say that. They don't have anything, you know, they're just like, God, that guy. It's, it, he does, it's not just a value he holds, the strengthening, uh, looking at strengthening and protecting of biodiversity. It's his, not just a value he holds, it's his whole way of life, right? And um, and it is, you know, what can I say? It's just the motto I live by. You know, some of you are out there doing drugs and stuff and, uh, you know, avoiding taxes. I am looking at strengthening and protecting biodiversity, uh, but not just as a value that I hold. It's a way of life. So, you know, um, he continued per the Daily Mail. Uh, on this Earth Day, I reflect on generations of conserva conservation champions. This time, champions isn't in inverted commas, so maybe 
there used to be in generations gone by an actual sort of like battle, a battle royale of who can conserve the most animals or grazing grounds or something, um, and in, including my late grandfather. And I feel proud and energised. He's on his Adderall. And I feel energised to continue doing my part in this legacy. This year especially, <laughs> I join the African Parks team and communities around the world in shared dedication to our environment and collective well-being. Well, that's just lovely, Harry, and we've had a great time reading about it, haven't we? And uh, that was a nice way to end the video, wasn't it? That little unedited ad-lib with a script, uh, proving that I can do it without editing. I'm, I'm just as good, you know, off the cuff, uh, spontaneous, uh, really, you know, everything is good. Um, Lots of other things to talk about over the last few days. Lots of things. Uh, I wanted to get into Rebecca Lou's. <laughs> Not in that way. Uh, 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 Lawrence Fox and Billy Piper uh, drama. Uh, Matt Perry. I felt a little bit bad. Should I? Should I not uh, try and make money out of his death? I... Yeah, I felt really, I did actually feel quite sad about that, to be honest. So I wasn't really sure how to approach it. Didn't want to clickbait it. Not yet. <laughs> um, and of course, Jada. More things going on with her. Loads of things. What a time to be alive. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. Eh? It won't hurt. It won't hurt me. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for uh, thanks for being there for me. Happy Halloween and all the rest of it. See you in the next one. No, I don't know. What do you think the last episode of Friends will be like? Will you be sad? Oh yeah, I'll miss you. You'll miss me, won't you? Be sad. Yes, I will miss you. <laughs>